life is hard, like really hard. Sometimes just the motivation to get out of bed takes everything out of us. It's all we can do to wake up going, ah, here we go again. And then when you look at the world around us at times and you see what it takes to become whatever it is that our culture tells us that we have to be, it can be so daunting. I remember being young, wanting to just be the very best at everything I possibly could. I'm a driven individual. I'd wake up in the morning going, I'm gonna tackle this world and I'm gonna conquer it. And I'd work and work and work and work. And then I'd accomplish the thing that I was working for and it'd be over. Success is so fleeting and it takes so much work. In fact, I spent hours when I was in college working to accomplish things. In fact, one of my accomplishments still hangs on a banner in a gym. And that's exactly where it still is, on a banner in a gym. Because see, we work towards these things and then just like that, they're gone. And at times we then sit there going, is it worth it? Is it worth the effort? And then we see people doing all these incredible things around us going, I could never be like that. I think one of the things in our lives that we view that way is wisdom. Wisdom seems like this daunting thing, seems like this thing that I will never be able to accomplish. It's for somebody else. It's for somebody other than me. I will never be wise. And yet today in our Proverbs challenge, in chapter eight, the beauty of what Solomon tells us is that wisdom is available for everybody. And not only is it available for everybody, it's calling out, it's screaming to us. In the very beginning of chapter eight today, it tells us that wisdom is standing at all of the obvious places. It's standing on the hilltop. It's standing in the path. It's standing in the gates to the city. It's waiting for us to find her. In fact, in chapter eight, verse 17, it tells us that wisdom loves those who love her and she will be found by those who seek her. That's a huge promise to you and me today, that we can be individuals that are wise, that we can be individuals that have wisdom. And so we must seek her. And when we do, we will find her. So what are ways that we can seek her? By reading the book of Proverbs, by listening to wise individuals that are around us, That's by spending time seeking after wisdom, we will find her, which is so necessary for today. We need more wise people in our culture. We need wisdom. We need individuals that can step up and say, I have found wisdom and this is what wisdom is telling me and share that information with others. So here's part of the Proverbs challenge. Become wise. By reading through Proverbs through the rest of May, we will become wise and then use that wisdom in your life to encourage, to challenge, to exhort others so that through us, the world may see God that we will be individuals because of our lives, it will be easier for others to follow God. So be a wise person. You can. Proverbs 8 tells us that. You can find wisdom and then use it so that we will glorify God in all that we do. Tomorrow, Saturday, and then Sunday. We won't be doing a daily Devo on either of those days, so I encourage you to continue. Tomorrow's chapter 9, Sunday's chapter 10, and then we'll be back Monday in chapter 11. Keep up the Proverbs challenge, because if we do, we will become wiser, guaranteed. Have a great day. Go to church on Sunday. I'll see you on Monday.